In this video, we're going to show you guys how to upload the display software on the ETC. Uh, this is the Star Trek Tread Climber. Um, if you're familiar with uploading software on any of the other Star Trek treadmills, it is pretty much exactly the same thing. Uh, if you want to know how to program the uploaders, we have some different videos that you can watch that will show you how to do that. This is the actual programming of the primary and secondary software on the ETC Tread Climber. First thing you want to do is turn the tread climber off. Next thing you'll do is you're going to remove the back plastic housing for the display. This is going to give us access to the two ports on the display electronics where we will uh, plug our uploader into. So now we got the, uh, the back shroud off. And notice we only took the back top shroud. You don't need to take that little bottom shroud off because uh, it's just not necessary. Um, once you come up in here, and if you look right in here, and you can see a little dark in here, but right there, uh, there's two ports. Um, if you look underneath, you could see, like the one that you could really see here, it says uh, SEC, which is for secondary. Uh, if I kind of scoot over this way a little bit, you can see that one is PRI for primary. As I mentioned before, there's two softwares that go in the display. If you're familiar with the treadmills, it's just like the treadmills. Uh, you have a primary and a secondary. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our uploader and we are going to program the primary. Right here I have a, an uploader. Um, if you have and doing this, you want to have two uploaders. It makes the job a lot easier. If you don't have two uploaders, but you have one uploader and a laptop, you could still get the job done. The only thing is, if you have the one uploader, you're going to need to load the primary. Then once we disconnect, we got to plug it into the computer, our laptop. We got to put the secondary software in here, and then we got to load the secondary. If you're doing multiple machines, it just makes it a lot harder. With two uploaders, one has primary in it, the other one has secondary, uh, you can easily just plug in and unplug and then plug in the next one and then unplug and just keep moving on. So I recommend having two. The one thing you want to know that before you plug this in is that there is a little polarizing pin on here. Uh, if you have it in wrong, like in this case, it, the polarizing pin is on top. If you have it in wrong, you're going to be struggling. You're never going to be able to get it in. So make sure you got the polarizing pin in the right spot. Um, that way it'll just slide in there real easy. Right now what we're going to do is I'm going to plug this uh, uploader into the primary. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a little tight. Uh, when you watch me, you're going to see that I'm going to come in all, on the bottom here and then on the top. It makes it a little easier. And this saves me a lot of time from having to remove the whole display. Uh, if I did remove the display, yeah, I could easily get in there, uh, but it'll take me a little bit more time. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple. So right now I'm going to connect this to the primary. And you can see that wasn't too bad. Now that I got it plugged in, uh, if you look, you'll see it's just kind of hanging there and it's in the primary port. Um, next thing we want to do is just power up the tread climber. You'll notice that once the display is powered on, you'll see that the light down here is blinking. Uh, you'll notice it's kind of like a steady, constant blink. Uh, if, it bl if it goes like solid red, or if it kind of does like a blink, 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 pause, blink, 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 pause, uh, then you're, you may have an issue and you probably didn't upload the programmer right. Uploading the primary and secondary can take anywhere from between one to three, three and a half minutes. Uh, so you just want to let it sit here and wait until this light goes green which it just did. Once it goes green, gently unplug it and just let the display reset. You might hear some clicks and beeps. Sounds like we're done. And uh, now we want to go ahead and do the secondary. We've already done our primary, now what we're going to do is we're going to plug into this other port here, which is the secondary. I'm using my same technique, just kind of sticking my hands in here in the top and the bottom, push it in, and it's there. Now we're going to go ahead and turn the uh, tread climber on, and then this should power up. We're going to let this go until it, the light goes green. As I mentioned before, could it be anywhere from a minute to three, three and a half minutes? Um, so just let it go. If it goes over five minutes, 
something's wrong and you'll want to uh, go back and check and make sure you uploaded the actual programming this uploader box correctly light is green we're done we want to disconnect it let the display reset and before we actually close up the back you want to make sure you run an auto calibration uh, for speed before we do the auto calibration program let's just verify that the software did take in order to do that we're going to get into the maintenance mode by pressing 0, 2 and OK once we're in the maintenance mode uh, the first thing that pops up is says MC1 and that's our primary uh, and this one is 1.00A which is what we loaded uh, press the level up button and we go to MC2 and that is uh, 1.00A which is what we also wanted to upload so we can see that our software did take if you need to get out of the maintenance mode for any reason you can just hit the stop key a couple times and that will exit you out now we need to go ahead and do the pro AutoCal program it's important that once you upload the software you run on auto calibration and auto calibration what it does is it makes sure that you have a nice steady speed or a transition between speeds it does not affect the calculation of speed only that you have a nice steady transition so if you let's say you're at one mile an hour and you want to go to two uh, it'll just nicely steadily increase to two if the machine is out of calibration and you want to go let's say from 1 to 2 it may go to 2.2 and then come down to 1.9 and then back to 2.1 uh, and so that's just one symptom that tells you you're going to need an auto calibration to do the auto calibration you want to get in the maintenance mode by pressing the 0, 2 and the OK once you're there you're going to use the, the uh, resistance uh, up key or excuse me the resistance down key that's the faster way to get to it it says motor calibration then you're going to hit OK that gets you in there and then hit OK one more time and that is going to start running the auto calibration program the one thing you're going to notice is as it's running an auto calibration uh, the walking belts will gradually start to increase in speed this walking or this auto calibration will take about uh, two minutes to run the one thing you want to make sure is you're not standing on the walking belts when this auto calibration is going on because the belt will all of a sudden start to speed up during this process. Just stand off to the side and wait to, for it to finish. As you can see the walking belts are starting to move much faster and we should be nearing the end of the auto cal uh, program. It flashed up past calibration and you can see the walking belts are slowing down once it comes to a complete stop you can hit the stop key two or three times to exit all the modes and we've uploaded new software now that we confirmed that the program did take and we've done our auto cal we can go ahead and put the cover on the back of the display housing